Okay, good morning. Today we're tying up a Helgram Mike Fly pattern. Something I tied up before on film that I didn't publish because I really didn't like the way it rode in the water column that I, when I was fishing it, it uh, kind of dove down nose first into the water, but I wanted it to be more even when I fished it. So I redesigned it a little bit. Never published the uh, first video and uh, catches fish. So I wanted to show you what I come up with here. What I have in the vise is a four times extra long size eight. It's a heavier gauge wire. So uh, I want to catch some bigger fish with it. And what I'm going to put on first is some O2O weight. I'm going to start with 15 wraps. And then I'm going to bring the lead wire back over top of itself 10 times. Go ahead and uh, break it away. Now, at first I had the weight sort of in the middle and it still was riding nose down so now then I brought the weight further back toward the uh, point of the hook a little further past it and now it rides the way I want it to I'm going to put on uh, some Danville 140 denier thread a little thicker thread is uh, something I needed for this fly don't really need any thin stuff so start it on right in front of the lead bring the uh, thread back and behind it, capture the tag end, wrap over top of the lead a few times, back toward the front, now let's go back toward the rear, don't need to necessarily cover up the thread, just want to secure it, or the uh, lead with the thread, and now we're going to add some dubbing, the dubbing we're going to use is this uh, ice dub from Hairline. This is my steelhead dispenser. I'm going to use the black. I'm going to use a little more than that, but we're going to start off with some uh, wax on the thread. Just go ahead and lay the dubbing right along the thread. Twist it on. Helps if your fingers are a little damp, so I got a little Dixie cup full of water. Now we want to try to cover up as much of the lead as possible. Add just a little more onto it. Alright, that's close enough here. Oops. Alright, bring your thread all the way back up to the front of the fly, up near the eye, a couple turns behind it. Now we're going to add some eyes, some chain bead eyes. These are small. I don't know what size they are, but uh, I got them at, uh, I think, Hobby Lobby years ago. They come in a very big roll. You can cut at these all day long. Never, never get through them, I don't think. Just take your utility scissors right in behind the two beads, cut them away, place the beads right on top of the shank of the hook, give it a few wraps, figure eight in behind and up and under a couple times. You don't really need to secure these all the way yet, you're going to put some super glue on them. That will take care of it. So after a couple wraps, bring the thread back. Now we're going to add the main ingredient. The main ingredient is this shelf liner. Comes in a huge roll. Got it off of uh, Amazon. Let's see, where is the... 
It is a uh, coax. The reason I chose this one, it looked thicker uh, in the description than the other ones, and it is. It's rather thick. So, but I'm still going to double it over. I want my bug to be nice and fat. So, measure out how long do you want your Helgramite? And from the head to where I want the bug to be, I'm going to cut it off right there. So in between the segments, just give it a snip. And now you're going to cut up in between. Now you're going to lay the two halves on top of each other. And with a little super glue on the thread. You're going to lay the two on top of each other, lay it right on top of the hook shank and over that first segment, give it a couple wraps take your thread, bring it back and over the next Go two segments back, give it a couple wraps, and then two segments back again, kind of in the middle of the uh, dubbing there, and do it again, a few wraps, now you can take your fly out of the hook or the fly out of the vise, flip it around, skewer it back in there, pull some thread out, and up underneath of the fly, pull your thread, pinch it together, and we're going to aim for that other segment right here. Just like that. And we're going to go one more segment back, doing the same thing. Take your whip finish tool, give it a couple of light whips, or you can throw in some half hitches, whatever you're comfortable tying it off with. Using a whip finish tool might be a little more difficult doing it this way if you're not used to whip, whipping with it. But cut that thread away. And there you go. You can either just trim this up just a little bit, leave it however you want, kind of leave it just like that. Alright, take your fly, turn it back around, secure it in your vise again. I'm going to trim off this one little piece. I think it looks a little rogue. Okay, now we're going to start thread back on right in behind the eyes. Cross it over. Secure in the thread. Cut away the tag end. Now here's a little trick I've been playing with. I want to bring this thread just rearward, rearward back to the next segment. So I'll just take my scissors up and under because I don't want the thread wrapping around that body segment. Now we're going to add some legs to it. See I super glued my finger or my thumb to the uh, black material there. Add the first leg. Take your another section of the uh, legs. Let me show you what these are. I kind of skipped over that, didn't I? Let me uh, grab that. These are 
hairline, medium round rubber legs. Come in a big strip like this, they peel them off one at a time. Alright, there we go. Nice and secure. Now we're going to advance the thread rearward in the same manner. You're going to take your scissors again, pull a little thread up and under. And now you're going to take your rubber leg, pull out a little bit, give it a wrap right in the middle of the segment there. Get that straightened out here. Here we go. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. A couple of wraps to secure everything. And then we're going to bring that thread rear rearward one more time, same manner, up and under. Bow, bow it in a little bit. Start your thread back on, wrap it over, getting the I screwed that up. Maybe I didn't. We'll just pull that out. How about that? I captured both at the same time. <laughs> didn't mean to do that. I won't even edit that out. Yeah, it worked, didn't it? Alright, let's adjust everything. And now you have uh, some bows in there. Like that. Let's uh, give it a whip finish or you can give it a half hitch. However you want to secure it. I have this bigger but finished tool. It's an Umpqua that I bought years ago. I don't use it very much other than for big projects like this. It fits up and around like this all around the whole fly. All right, I didn't whip anything in there that I didn't want to. Give it a nice big heavy tug. Cut away the thread. All right, now we're going to go ahead and trim, 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 cut to length, save that, I can use it again. All right, now I don't want these all this long. So, just go ahead and take your scissors. Make you some Helga Mike size legs. Sort of like that. There you go. About the right length. If you need to adjust them, do it now. Cut this one down here. Okay. Right. Start the thread back on the front, right in behind the eye. The threads get a little short there. Yeah, we still got some more, a few more flies out of it. Start the thread back on. You had a few wraps. Make sure you secure that hook in there. Cut away the tag end. This time we're going to use some of this uh, super bright dubbing. Going to use the black again. Nice little pinch. Remember, a little dubbing goes a long way. Add some wax. Lay it right up against the thread. Spin it on. Helps your, if your fingers are damp a little bit. Good. Couple wraps in behind the eyes. Up in between them, figure eight them, little one front, I'll go in behind them a couple more times. I want that a little bigger. All right, bring your thread in front of the eyes. 
few wraps. Let's give it a whip finish. Tie it off. Pull it tight, cut it away. And for the most part, you are done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to super glue everything. Get that a little tighter. That has thread on it. First off, we're going to start up front, right behind the eye, right there, all the segments, and behind here a couple times. I want this to catch a bunch of fish before it falls apart. Alright, there you go. You got yourself a Helgramite pattern with some shelf liner that floats, or doesn't float, that drops evenly in the water. I uh, redesigned it a couple times. Every version caught fish, but this is the one that I kind of like the most. That's why I tied it up on film for you today. Alright, hope you enjoy these videos, and you know it's summertime, fish are uh, good fishing season, we had a little rain yesterday, I was going to go out today, but it wasn't the optimum, optimum day to go out, so I'm going to do some yard work when I get done with this, or so I promised my wife. Alright, hope you uh, like this video, give me a like, give me a subscribe, cheers, and stay tuned for more.